A couple weeks ago, I showed you our earliest issue of the Saturday Evening Post. Now I want to show you how it looked 30 years later. Just for perspective, I have put out a Wall Street Journal here on this side. It measures 22 by 12 inches. Here is the broadsheet Saturday Evening Post from September 14, 1850. This sheet measures 32 by 24 inches. You've got a lot of paper for your money in those days. There's a couple of very interesting articles in here. There is a report on how crazy America was going over the tour of the singer Jenny Lind, who was then in America. There was an article about who spoke longest in the U.S. Senate. Apparently a reporter who took notes on speeches said that the lead talker in the Senate in 1850, 11 years before he became President of the Confederate States of America, was the senator from Mississippi, Jefferson Davis, who talked six times longer than anyone else in the Senate. There's also an article about rich men in New York. The Post is proud to say that none of the wealthiest millionaires in New York started off rich. All of them came from modest backgrounds. I did some quick calculating on how long it would take to read this. And this is based on nine words per line, 218 lines per page, nine columns per page. Each issue, I figure, has about 65,000 words. Now, if you take the average reading speed of 200 words per minute, a subscriber would take almost seven hours to read one issue. And that's a lot of newspaper to get for the equivalent of 60 cents in 2018 money.